but it's another dark, cold night here in Hitchin Town Centre. Now this evening, I'm still on the trail for the most scariest haunted places in town. The building I'm in tonight, up until the 1960s, was a bastion of law and order for this town. I'm at the old courthouse and police station here in Bancroft. It still has its own cells and it still has its own old courtroom. The staff who work here say there's a real eerie, sort of ghostly feeling about the place. What is going on? Well, we put the team back together and we're here to investigate. I'm Ray Cordell, this is Haunted Hitching. actually work in the back building which is the old courthouse and is now the education support centre in Hitchin. Uh, we keep uh, term time hours but the over the last seven years of having worked there I've got to know some of the staff who work in this building, the police station, and they've recounted their experiences over the years um, of paranormal activity. Um, one person in particular, um, an ex-member of staff, would regularly come over and, and, and tell us all about something, different things that had happened. Um, and I think really what stuck in my mind was that twice he attempted to get the building exorcised by different priests um, because he particularly experienced things like cold spots on the stairs. There was a shadow once on the stairs that wouldn't move, wouldn't leave. Um, and most of all, most regularly, when the staff were downstairs in the offices, they would hear really loud noises of things being scraped across the floor upstairs, knowing that there was nobody up there. Um, and it would sound like furniture, but it would be really, really loud. And obviously they'd go and investigate, and there was never anything there. So because of these happenings, he, he did call in a priest twice. At one time it was a Catholic priest and another time it was an Anglican priest. But the second occasion, um, I'll never forget because he came over to us after the, he'd let the priest out and uh, he said oh, he'd been around the building with his holy water and, and saying some prayers. And on letting him out the door, something growled. And he said it was really, really loud. And he came over to us and he was very, very upset. And he said, I turned to the priest and I said, what was that? And the priest said, what was what? And he didn't hear it. He said it was really, really loud. And he said it was something that was, it sounded very angry. We're standing here by the dock in the old courtroom at Hitchin Old Police Station in Bancroft. Now anyone standing in the dock you will know it's a pretty terrifying experience. But certainly in the Victorian era, it was much more so. In his speech to the House of Commons in 1810, the great legal reformer Samuel Romilly uh, pointed out that there were no less than 220 capital crimes in Britain, probably more than any other country in the world. In theory, you could be executed for crimes, uh, such as spitting on Westminster Bridge or impersonating a Chelsea pensioner. It really were, was a dangerous uh, period for anyone transgressing. 35,000 uh, death penalties were handed down between 1770 and 1820, although in the vast majority of cases they were commuted uh, to uh, punishment such as transportation or long-term imprisonment. Gradually during the 19th century, the number of capital crimes was reduced, but uh, it was still possible in theory to be executed up until 1965, uh, although it was very, very rare. This building was actually built in 1885. It wasn't Hitchin's first police station uh, because the police force in Hitchin, which was established in 1841, originally had a, a place uh, on Mancroft next to Skinner's Arms Houses. And before that, there was a jail next to the workhouse in Tynehouse Street. And this operated as the police station and law courts up until the 1960s when the new police station around the corner 
was built. And then this, uh, after that, this carried on as a petty sessions court. And that really sort of sums up uh, the situation in Hitchin. No serious criminal would have been punished, executed or imprisoned here. They would have been sent off to county courts such as St Albans or Hartford. However, for a poor family in Victorian England coming to this uh, and being sentenced to a fine or an imprisonment, that would have a devastating effect on their family life and they could easily be thrown into destitution, thrown out of their house and lose all their income. So, a terrifying prospect. Right, so I'm now with uh, Gary Leask. Now, you, you're the centre manager here. Yeah. Um, and you obviously here sometimes late at night, yeah. things going on. Yeah. Um, there was one particular incident that you're going to tell us about in this area here. Yeah, it was... I am here quite a lot on my own, and, and, I, and I just remember... Uh, it was one... Uh, one afternoon, it was daylight. In fact, okay. uh, it was daylight. It wasn't. It wasn't a late evening at all. Okay. And, and I just came through uh, the corridor area here on my way up up to the stairs, and I just remember seeing a really clear shadow just move across to my to my on my left hand side, basically. And it was just quite unusual for me. Really. I have a general open mind anyway, but it was just quite unusual for me because sometimes doors close slowly or you know the, the, there might be something yeah. you know, that, you know yeah. that, that could cause a shadow traffic or you know something and it just I just remember it being it didn't didn't scare me in any way but it just I just it just sort of uh, it, I suppose it was unexplainable and that was the thing it's like so it's, it's, it ran along the wall so, no, so as I walked through I just saw shadow just just move to move, my, move, move across just on my left hand side and it, it just when you look around and there was no, no there's no there's no sh there was nobody else in the building there was okay. no there's no other shadows or or, or any, you know or, or anything that could have really caused it in that particular area because in here you're at least two rooms away from sort of direct sunlight and, and sort of reflections like that really so it was just uh, yeah it was just uh, so if you got you've got over it you just can't explain it basically uh, it made me stop. It made yeah. me think. It made me think. Look, look around, and just try and, and get an idea of where this yeah. could have come from. Uh, Any sensation? Did you feel cold or anything? Uh, like nervy? Yeah, I, I, the, the building makes me feel quite nervy anyway. But that's. I think that's more to do with. I suppose things that I can explain, like the doors that close late, or something that you know that you know that you know th things that you know that happen after windows open or something. Okay. You know, notices fall. You know, we we have a lot of notice boards with pins and things like that, and sometimes things fall off and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it's almost like the things that I can explain make, make me a little bit more edge. For, but for this, I just remember it's, it's a little while now. It's probably three or four years ago, but it just made me. Thing, you know, what's what's all that? What's all that you know, and what, what could have caused that? I'm walking through, and then and then our, our main office is, is on the on the top floor, and the shadow just moved across that doorway. Yeah. And uh, which is obviously right next to the uh, to the downstairs corridor. But uh, yeah. So as I've come, I've seen the shadow sort of just move across the doorway. Oh, across and, and, and if you if you imagine being standing this so point, so it's made you stop in your tracks, basically. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, so, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm like, what 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 is that? Because you know, there's a tiny vision panel there after, yeah, after yeah, daylight, yeah. and, and the rest of the daylight is is not. It's just not in any not sort of angle where where, right where, where where some. Yeah. Mm. Well, this area here is where they used to bring the prisoners in and take them up to the courthouse. Alexandra, how are you feeling here? Do you know, I actually feel quite sick. Um, yeah. I can feel that there's a lot of tension and anxiety and anticipation as they would come up. I can see that people would be um, chained or shackled in some way, restrained. Yeah. I'm, uh, and I could just feel fear as I'm about to go in the room. I feel like I'm going up into the courthouse and um, I don't know what's coming next. Um, my, my palms are starting to sweat as well, um, and uh, it feels like it might not end here. Things might have to be moved on to somewhere else, depending on what happens upstairs. It might get yeah, more sure. serious. Because um, this is where they take them down as well, obviously. So yes, um, to prison or wherever. Yeah, this is just a stopgap. Um, yeah. It's what's coming after this, and actually, I'm starting to get really quite dry. <coughs> 
and um, that's nerves, I can feel their nerves. I'm, it's anticipation, I don't want to go to prison. I don't want, I want my freedom, but what, what do they know about me and what I've done mm. uh, is, is what's all, all gonna come out. So uh, yeah, nausea, my throat's very dry, and uh, anticipation of fear. And I'm just getting really quite okay. short of breath as well now. Let's get out of here, come on. Okay, good. <clears throat> atmosphere when you come in here. Well this would be the old courthouse yeah. itself, the courtroom itself. Yeah, it's a very big room isn't it? Yeah, it's a Up area there somewhere that's now gone. So and right. Um, right. did you say you thought there was a witness stand? Well, possibly the, the box in the corner, yeah. But then, like on the, on the right here, obviously, we've got the, the docks themselves. Mm. So that's where they would have stood. Yes. So they would have been brought in there from up the cells where we've just been. Yeah. And then they would stand in there. There's a real atmosphere about this room as well. You, you can get a real sense of, again, feel, the feel fear yeah. mixed with the formality and, and the discipline, you know, obviously, of the police and the legal system enforcing um, their will. Um, and you can, what I also got uh, is a real strong feeling of good versus evil. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, uh, there is a mixture of energies here, and of course, the building has gone on to be used for good. So you've got this under, this like in layers, like a residue of um, there's evil p energies have been very present mm -hmm. here, um, along with people that are obviously you know the other side of the coin yeah. on the legal system. But I did also pick up that not all of the people working in the legal system were good energies. So I don't know okay. if there was some corruption went on. Um, or some of the judges or the policemen, that type of thing. I felt it was more. I hope so to the police, because I'm going to do a good job, but I did feel there was a couple of rogue police um, that worked in this establishment that um, used their, um, what's the word, the authority to their own good. Okay. It wasn't all about the good of everyone else. Mm. But it was only about two or three kind of energies I was picking up. I feel, sorry to interrupt you, but I feel quite panicky. Yeah. yeah. My, did you, my I heart's beginning to, to go now. I relate to that, yeah. I'm thinking, I'm getting quite scared. It's mm. that kind of the unknown. Mm. Yeah, well also, of course, they don't know what, what if they're gonna get a fair judgment, they don't know if they're going to prison now. There's this anticipation of what's, again, it's mm. what's gonna happen next, what's coming. And as I say that, I'm feeling yeah. really quite nauseous you, you're again. You're sharing that apprehension, mm. I should yes. feel that yes. as well. Yes, I'm feeling it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, it's interesting that all three of us yeah, are picking yeah. up exactly the same um, uh, symptoms, if you like, kind of. Um, and the mouth feels absolutely incredibly dry. Yes, yeah. really dry. Yeah. Yes, I'm. Um, I'm also feeling, and again, I don't know if it can be found, like who stood where, but I'm feeling there was uh, a, a police presence kind of here. It's like there would be someone stood, like security or police presence, mm -hmm. kind of guarding this end of the room in mm. some way. I'm. It's like there was a chair or chairs here and there was a police presence here, um, is, is what I feel. And there was seating there that's gone. Yeah. And again, I've got to say, I'm feeling there were bars. On the windows On the themselves. windows that are now not there. I'm feeling things have been um, removed. It's high up as well, so you can't, there's no, you can't see out. Escape. They couldn't see out. Do we know if this is the um, level of the original floor? I think this is the original floor. Is it? Because again, I'm feeling that in some areas it's raised up. I feel like some some way it's been lowered a little bit. Mm. Mm. So I don't know what that's all about, but it's like some of it was a bit lower, but some was more raised up. So I don't know 
there's been a lot of moderni modernisation mm. in here, obviously. But to um, start, I mean, to come back to what you were saying earlier, you can actually feel the good and bad that's mm, going through here, yeah. can't you? Yes. I, I mean, I can yeah. feel that. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So. And is that yeah, it's panicky strong. feeling? The very panicky. Yeah. You can imagine if you were brought up here, <sighs> yeah. you would be. It's a bit very short of breath. It's a bit short of breath. Very dry in the mouth. Yeah. Mm. What I keep seeing is, is, is mm. flashes of what will happen to me if I go to prison. Yes. And um, again, it's a bit horrible to talk about, but I'm seeing it's more like the male rapes and that kind of thing and the being beaten up and the violence that will happen in prison. Mm. They're kind of more frightened of not the actual um, sentence, but how they'll be treated in prison and what will happen to them if they get sent down. That's what I'm seeing is the fear of if I, if I go away and having your freedom sort of taken away as well. Um, so, um, okay, that's great. Ah, I'm just getting also just one thing. Lastly, I can feel senses of relief coming in as well for the ones that got set free. Right, can you yeah. feel that? That's good. <laughs> it's like a mm. got away with it. <laughs> yeah, walk away from it. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I'm just getting these odd senses of relief. You're free to go. I don't see, and I see there being like seating or a chair, um, and I'm seeing cuffed, um, and not a lot else, not a lot else, maybe a drink of water, but, um, and again, just this suffocating feeling. How do you feel in there, Ray? Did you feel mm. a bit like that? Did you feel kind of, again, how, you, how we felt like I felt here. like magnified, as in everyone was, was watching me. Yes. Mm. It, just for you guys there, but it felt, you felt the mm. focus of attention in mm. there. Well, if we'd been taken down, if we'd been convicted of something, we'd go to the cells here, wouldn't we? Yes. This sure. is actually one of the cells here. Okay. So, we'll, again, I'm getting that very heavy in the head uh, feeling. I'm feeling quite, quite heavy. This an ominous feeling as I come in here, and um, I'm, I'm, I have a very strong feeling there were bars well, up there. Really yeah, I've, I'm feeling that there were some on the inside as well. And um, before I came on this investigation, I had um, a chap come to me um, who said he'd hung himself. And I did feel I'd know which room it was in. And um, I think it was here and I thought it was those bars. Yeah, he's very cold, there's a very yeah. chilled feeling. He feel couldn't go that, through with it. Whatever it was, he couldn't go through with it. Um, he wasn't well in the mind anyway, um, sick in sort of body and spirit. So I see him on that hanging down there, and that's how he was found. So it'd be quite good if you can verify that. Mm. Um, if that okay, was sure. true. I'm just trying to get whereabouts um, that was. Um, I'm feeling that was 1900s. Okay. Um, around 1920 something. Okay. 1930 in that region. Right. Um, he's quite a slender chap. Um, only about in his 40s, I'm feeling really sick and saying this, about 40, 45. I'm, and uh, I get the impression of alcohol with him as well. Um, I feel he, he had an alcohol problem. It's funny you should mention problem. that dryness because it's, it's really affecting me. Yeah, are you, are you feeling the heaviness in the head yeah. as well? Yeah. I'm, yeah, because I'm feeling quite spaced as I come in here. I'm sort of almost finding it hard to put my sentences yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. I'm, and again, I'm having a kind of gasp of breath. A little bit of um, anxiety. I feel it's in anxiety. my stomach though. I'm quite, I feel like, again, it's around my stomach that I'm feeling really quite panicky actually. Yes. So that door's going to shut and we'll be uh, That's stuck, it, in, stuck here, in here. So. No mm. control. Yeah. My control's been taken away I'm, uh, and they know they've done bad things. They know this is retribution time. Mm. Mm. And um, yeah, this is what happens when you get caught, isn't it? At the Absolutely. end of the day. So it's what comes next now. So mm. that's why I keep getting the anticipation. But that chap, I'm seeing his belt. He did it with his belt. So um, what he told me was they didn't used to take the belts off them in those days. Um, they did that after yeah. because yeah. they had suicides. That's what yeah. he said. Because I said, why do you have your belt? He said, they didn't take it off me. They do now. They do now. But they mm. didn't in those days. <sighs> oh, he's making me really short of breath yeah. again. Yeah, it is very, it is very close in here, isn't mm. it? Mm. So um, let's get yeah. out let's of get it. Out, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> let's, <laughs> So I mean, mm. okay, prisoner coming out, look through. Yeah, he's with with an officer or something. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Unlock it all. Yeah. Okay. Bolts here obviously went in the wall. Yeah. 
it's along here. Uh, yeah. There's the um, cells along here, so if we check them out first. Now this is the cell we're going to go into, which is, Alexandra said, someone committed suicide. Someone committed suicide. So, let's try it. I must admit I'm a bit nervous about this. Yeah. It, we both felt very calm Well, when we first one. went in earlier, we definitely felt something in there. Yes. And now it's dark. And everyone's gone. Yeah. And it's just us. Okay, I'll see you around, I think. See that straight away, it's like cold, dryness, dryness. I didn't think there's a radiator in it, but there is. So it is extra icy cold in, considering there's a radiator in here. It's a really weird feeling in there. Mm. You can see it. it. Must be very damp in here as well. Perhaps that's something to do with the dryness. Maybe why we're feeling so cold, to be fair. Yeah. And this is probably a good place to, to have a go at the spirit box. Yeah. Hey. 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 Were you locked up here? Could be. Could be. Mm. So, did you go to prison from here? Probably. Probably, yeah. What was your name? Um, Sid? I'm interested enough, I'm also getting the name Sid. Although, was that the policeman? Cedric? Stop. Stop. Cedric, is it Cedric? No. Is your surname Winterton? Winterburn? How long were you in here for? Stop, stop again. But we keep getting stopped, don't we? Yeah. Did you die in this cell? Is it this cell? This cell is getting colder. It is. My hands are freezing. The EMF setting. Nothing at the moment. Stop again. When we switched this on when we first arrived, this went mad. Just in this doorway. It's still talking away over there. Mm. Well, it's all gone a bit quiet. Mm. Um, should we move on? Perhaps mm -hmm. we should try the courtroom, shall we? Try the courtroom. Okay. Show us you're here somewhere. Well, this would have been the way out of the cells up to the court. Right. So let's, let's do that journey. Let's do that journey. Take him with us. So this uh, gateway you see here. Up. 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 You said up. That was clear. <laughs> We're going up. We're going up to the courtroom. Is that okay? Have you been up these stairs before? Yep. Yes. yes. That's a definite yes. Yes. Anyway, this this gate. This takes us up to the old courthouse upstairs. So, we're really going to go up there. Let's see what's up there. Whoa! Just don't fall down the stairs. What are you right? Felt like something pushed me down the stairs there. Really? Yeah. <gasps> Jeez, the door just moved by itself. Okay. Should I go in? Left. I'm rubbish, I am. This is a dreadful disease. So you're now in court. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Oh. Guilty or not guilty? Guilty or not guilty? Did you do the crime? Did you kill someone? 
did. It was yes, I think, yeah. Yes, or did, yeah. Who did you kill? Oh. <laughs> what was that? Something touched my... No, perhaps I've touched a table, did I? I know. Yeah, it was here. Tables. It was here. Did you just touch me? Was it a woman that you killed? Was it your wife? Was it your wife? A girlfriend? A friend? What's that door banging now? You can speak out. Are we making you cross? Did you say your name was Pete? Perhaps we haven't, um, perhaps we haven't actually arrived here yet. Perhaps we need to go back down the stairs to the where they come out of the cells, mm -hmm. then come up here. Perhaps they're stuck down there, the other side of the gate. So let's go down there and check that out. Going up to the court, have you plead? Guilty or not guilty before we get there? Yeah. It is, because you think um, this could be like your final staircase to f of freedom, if you understand what I mean. Yes. Oh. You've got one more chance to make your mind up. Are you guilty or not guilty? Come on, you can tell us. This little room we're in here would be the dock. So you'd be standing here. Come on, this is your chance to speak now. Tell us what happened. Was that the lady that you murdered who spoke then? Yes. Don't believe you. Are you going to speak or not? response there from the spirit box but now we're going to try and see if we can get some reactions yes we're just talking directly so is there a prisoner here if there is make some sort of sound so we know you're here in this room, isn't it? Yeah, it's very, very tense in this room. It, there is noises. There's noises now. Is it yeah. just noises? Is it noises in the building or is it because there's someone here? We have traffic noise going outside. Yeah. But there's something a bit more. Come on, we need a definite sign if you're here. We're not here to do you any harm. We're just here to say hello. Yeah. So you've got nothing to be afraid of from us. Is that you making those noises? We need something stronger than that. I think you are trying to contact us, but we need something stronger. It? 
É isso. Nothing's really happening. No. Let's, let's just have a little walk around up there. Uh, nothing's moving, the lights aren't going on. I think we need a, a bit of a wander around. There was definitely some banging or something over there. Did well, there's definitely some creaking there. There was, um, but then it's windy. It could be. So it's all double glazed, isn't it? So yeah. It's, it's, it's probably the warmest room in this building. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is quite warm, isn't it? Come on, do something. Do something. Make something move. Come on. What the heck was that? That's the ball. What? The ball is off the table. No, 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 no. Where is that gone? That's just. No, 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 no. that didn't move, did it? Did one of you move that? No. <laughs> it, was, it was over there. But it's disappeared now. I heard it. It must have just rolled off under. It's not, there's no wind or anything in here, is there? I'm sorry, that bass is freaking out. That's just disappeared. Oh. oh my god, there's two. There's two. That's bizarre. Now, could it have rolled off the table? It sounded like someone threw it off the table. Is it to you, or am I just making that up? Well, I heard a. that sort of sound. Yeah. I mean, it could. I mean, it could have been. Could have been. But this table is. Oh, I can't move it. I mean, did, did we make a sort of breeze when we got up or something? I don't know. No, did you just move this table? Did you just move the ball? That is really weird. Whoa. Were you locked up here? Could be. Oh. <laughs> what was that? <gasps> Have you been up these stairs before? Yes. yes. That's a definite yes. Yes. Back to the studio.